Capsule full of G is in the building. What's popping, King? Salute, Queen. I'ma let everybody pop that shit how you want it. You know, with with the vigor that you want. You can disagree. You can debate. I just want us to understand that in the end, it's all love. It's all love. We're going to say some things that you might like and agree. We're going to say some things that you don't like and agree. But <laughs> we don't give a care because we got to be authentically us, right? So that's Miss T. Go subscribe to her. Her channel deserve more subscribers. Listen, my subscribers is your subscribers, Miss T. So let's get it rolling and push the like and the subscribe button for her. You know, so listen, let, let's listen to somebody that has um, class. You know, he has class, he has charisma, he has character. You know, um, the man stays cranked up, man. You ask a man a question and his words look like he wants to punch you in your face. Just the words he spit because he's so cranked up and cranky all the time. <laughs> but yo, he's a character. So let's listen to what he's saying, okay? Come on. <laughs> this is the president of Showtime. Why he keep bringing me back? Why they keep doing this to me? Why they keep, because they, they fuck with me, they fuck with my skills. They understand what I possess in the ring. I'm him. On the Brian, on the Brian Custer interview, you raised a concern about the body testing. Have that been agreed upon? Oh my back. gosh, these people been coming to my house so much. I hope they come to his house like this. They been fucking testing me, man, pissing me at, fucking taking all my blood, four tubes, everything. Like, what's up? I asked for him to goddamn get tested too. Hope he getting the same shit. Yeah, they, they, they doing what they gotta do. And I appreciate them. I can't complain. They're waking me up early. I gotta hold my piss all the way to like eight or nine just in case they come early. <laughs> All right, so Vada test testing is a voluntary anti-doping association and is an independent organization. What is Vada testing? This is just for newies that's coming on my on my channel that's trying to understand this stuff about drug testing with boxing. All right, so how is Vada testing done? Vada, on the other hand, relies on random testing. Random is the key word, which can be conducted anytime in the eight weeks. That's another key. Eight weeks prior to the bout at their discretion and immediately release results upon their completion. Current drug testing usually consists of just a pre and post fight urine test. <laughs> oh man, Charlo, man, Charlo, Charlo, Charlo. But as you can see, he's every trouble and he's making sure that's I hope they're doing that shit to Costano, man. Because yo, they taking my piss. I gotta hold my piss early in the morning. I got four tubes of blood. They be taking every damn Yo, listen, man. I believe you, man, because you're so damn cranked up about it. <laughs> I believe your actions, bro. You even have to say words. I know by the by the way you act, you're cranked up, man. So, um, so this is what Vada do. Vada is an independent, voluntary. That means you need to voluntary yourself in order to get tested, right? So let's listen. I'm just giving you one side of Vada. It's independent, and now I'm gonna go. To the WBC sanctions, um, sanctioning bodies that say they do what they do, how they do. Dig me? All right, so let's go to them and see what they're talking about. And then we're going to compare and we're going to see the loopholes. We're going to read in between the lines and we're going to figure out some ish. Yes, sir. Let's go. My dear friend, there's a misunderstanding in public and some media. There is always anti-doping test after the fight. Every single WBC championship fight has mandatorily to have an anti-doping test. The clean boxing program, which the WBC pays for and has been working for the last six years, is a random testing, which is expensive and which cannot cover the whole world. Some fights are contracted also by the promoters to have out of competition testing but also it is very expensive so not every title fight has uh, the two three months prior to the fights uh, testing and that is nothing wrong the rule says anti-doping test after the fight everything else is uh, efforts from the WBC from boxing commissions from promoters to keep boxing clean and to have that 
uh, system of uh, doing random testing. So I hope uh, one day people can understand there is nothing wrong, Fundora or PVC or no one did nothing wrong because uh, the extra testing is just additional to the rules. So VOD is optional, okay? With the WBC, Maurice Suleiman, and he's saying is that that, that that sanction body, I don't know about the IBF, the WBA, the WBO, I don't know about them, but he's saying his sanctioning body, he will do a post-anti-doping test after the fight. VADA is additional if the promoter, see, you got the promoter and the sanctioning body. This is, this is why I get so... Uh, there's so much corruption in boxing. We all know that there's corruption in boxing. I don't like that the promoter and the sanction body can make the decision if, yeah, you could use this or you could use that. Or no, 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 no. As a boxer, I'm a boxer. I got my belts on the line. I'm defending my belts. I'm going for unification. I'm going for undisputed. All right. Um, you're a boxer. And not just a boxer, you're a boxer that got millions of dollars, right? So you're going to tell me as a boxer, you don't have a choice? Well, you do have a choice for Vada. You do. Vada has a choice for Vada. He makes sure he checks his opponents. He said, listen, the promoter ain't going to pay for it. I'm paying for it because this is my wealth and that's my health. When I get in that ring, I need to know what's going on. So... I always go to Wilder when I hear that the promoter can't pay for it. Oh, we only do post. We only do. By the time you do the post, it's already out the person's system. We all know that. Cycle on, cycle off. Cycle on. Yo, yo I swear. Yo, listen, man, I'm 49 years old, man. Okay? I grew up with a dictionary and a mother ethnic encyclopedia. And I had to open a book. Open a book to get information. Y'all dudes, man. 49 years old, man. And, and what you giving me all this all this right now? It's so easy. It's so easy, man. Just pick up your phone and just talk into that bitch and say, what's the altitude of the mountain? How far deep is the sea? And you get an answer like that. So you telling me, someone that's 49, I'm going to be turning 50 next year. I, my birthday passed in March and I ain't want to tell nobody. It was my birthday because I can't stand people telling me it was my birthday. I'm too old for that shit right now, okay? Too old for that shit. I don't need that. But you need to know. You got the whole world in the palm of your hands. You got the whole world in your hands. And you going to tell me I got to do this homework for you, nigga? Come on, man. Come on. Wise up, dudes. Don't be that lazy. Don't just listen to what other people say and just run with it because you have a bias against that boxer. And it helps your argument. Don't let me get started. I had to calm down. I was getting a Charlo moment right there. I was getting a Charlo moment. I had to calm my ass down, yo. Um, but where am I going? Yeah, so like I said, Wilder, he pays to make sure his opponents are checked thoroughly with Vada. Okay, let, let's go and see. Because I was telling you who I saw on the Vada website. And there's numerous people I see. And, and another person I saw that used Vada at a time. For his his fight, was this person? Yeah, so that was Bud Crawford, and that Vada test he took because right under, right under Crawford, on the Vada website is um Kell Brook, and they have the same dates. So I, I'm assuming that they did Vada testing for that fight, right? So now he. What what you telling me, nigga? What'd you say? Why am I bringing all this up? Oh God, here we go. So now you assuming the reason why I'm bringing this up is because of 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 um Errol Spence and his victory on Ugas, right? By the way, um, congratulations on your victory, right? But you assuming? Well, let me give you some some knowledge here about assumptions. Suspicion, but this guy says it best. He says it the best, right? And I'm gonna, he said it the best to me, and it makes so much sense. Here we go. Let's roll the tape. Ah! 
nobody ever been tested more than Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Nobody in the history of the sport has been tested more than Manny Pacquiao. People still say he's on steroids. So if people don't give it, that's why I always say, okay, that's the test. That's what happened. Fine. Because once you start shitting on the test itself, you start devaluing the test. You can't cry about them not taking the test. Pick one. Y'all think y'all uplifting and building the sport. You're tearing it up. You're tearing it up. And y'all think y'all building it. All the conspiracies, all the little things. Hey, this is this. This isn't this. No, this isn't real. Everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. Then I'm not rocking with it. If I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. If damned if I do cost money, then I won't. I am for the health of the fighters. I am for making boxing number one sport in the world. But when everything is a conspiracy, you ain't building it. You're just shitting on it and ripping it up. You're tearing it up. And this is a fact. All right. So we could go with the conspiracies, um, the assumptions and all this stuff. It's cool. But don't use it in your argument if you don't have no fact about it. That's the problem. Now, this is not all about Spence and his victory. This is this is about when I was sitting there and I was hearing Maurice Suleiman say what they do, and then I saw the Vada test, and then I said, wait a minute, Vada said they got eight months. So they know that you have a certain amount of time to cycle on and cycle off. And then when I hear that the WBC do post fight, post fight testing, well, by that time, it's out your system. And it's out your system and you still get the best results of whatever you're using. Just understand that, okay? Just because it's not in your system doesn't mean you don't get the best results. Yeah, it's out your system and undetected. And, and, and there's a lot of things you could do to mask that, like vitamins, minerals, um, 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 saline. Yeah, you, you, could, you could put something in your vein and you could mask all that shit. So now... When you go for your post fight, all you're doing, it's like going to a drug test at your job. If you work for the city or whatever, you out there smoking or snorting or, or whatever. All you got to do is take some pills, right? And you can, mask, you can mask that situation when it comes to a piss test. Come on, dude. Anybody work for the city or the government or whatever, and they got to take random drug tests. This is what people do. And that's just a simple piss test. So where I'm coming from, I'm looking at the big, the big spectrum of the whole thing. Not Errol Spence, not Manny. Uh, I'm gonna give you two examples. Well, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give you two examples to show you that I got fucking common sense, right? Errol Spence. Back then, he had this puffy nipple situation, and I'm like, damn, why? Why are anybody making a big deal out of that? But then I say, you know what? You know, it's part of the suspicion, the conspiracy, and, and people have a reason to do that, right? But I'm just saying you can't use that argument if you don't have no facts to say that he got busted or popped for anything. Because let me tell you something. Every man on this earth convert to testosterone to estrogen in their body. Excuse me? All right. Conversion to testosterone, to estrogen. So it depends on your environment. It depends on the foods you, you eat. It depends on your stress. It depends on this. It depends on that. It depends on you predisposed. It depends on how you convert your testosterone to estrogen, right? It depends on your blood type. It depends on what you eat, how you process shit, right? How you filter out shit. There's a conversion. There's also a filter out shit. Some people can filter out shit easy. Some people are back the fuck up and they can't filter shit easy. They can't because they back the fuck up. So you have some people that has puffy nipples. Okay? Or have or have man boobs. Alright? Um, this shit is easy, man. So I can't based on um Errol Spence Tata. I can't, I just can't I can't just base it on that. Because everybody convert to testosterone to estrogen. Same thing with Manny Pacquiao. Uh, let me give you an example. They said that Manny said something about. He has a tattoo, but the man said, I'm scared of needles. I could wrap that shit up for you easy. Because I saw an interview with Manny Pacquiao. Oh, God, I'm going to get that interview. I got to get that interview. And he was like, oh, what I mean by I'm scared, of it, I'm scared of needles, because 
when you say it in English, you just hear, I'm scared of needles. But when he's saying his language is different. And then when you translate, he's saying, listen, I am scared of needles because when they draw those four tubes of fucking blood huh, and they do it time and time and time again, it makes me feel weak. You know what? You know what Charlo was talking about just now? Complaining about fucking taking four tubes of blood out of me every goddamn minute and, and, and a piss test and this. It, the blood actually, it makes you weak. So this, and then that was all around the area where they was defecating on his character. Floyd and his and his father. And then they went to court and said, listen, all these, all these rumors and shit, do you have any proof? No. Case closed, you lost. Pay the man Manny Pacquiao for defamation of character. So why are you over there storing feces at this man's character, but you can't back it up in court? So I ain't got no time for all this bullshit about Errol Spence puffy nipple, Manny Pacquiao got a tattoo, and he he, he and, or what Roach say and this and, and and that and that. Listen, man, I would not base um what I think he's doing unless I got proof. That's it. That's bottom line. So we got a lot of fairy tale shit going on out here, and people want to listen and hear it because it makes it easier. This is a microwave generation what's convenient to your bias against a boxer it's very easy you don't have to do the you don't have to do the math you don't have to do the equation you don't have to look it up even though you got a phone that you can look up shit and do your research in a, in a heartbeat nigga but it's convenient because you got somebody you can listen to talk that bullshit that you want to hear yeah all right I need to pause for a second. I just need to pause for a second. Sometimes I got to pause myself because I feel like spazzing the fuck out and shit, right? So, you know, I'm hearing, you know, so let me give you a good example. Let me give you another example, right? Check this shit out. Manny Pacquiao, I hear people saying they suspicious of him in the Keith Thurman fight, that he didn't get tested. Well, he wasn't tested by Vada. Am I correct? Am I, answer me, motherfucker. Am I correct? Don't y'all motherfuckers talk that shit about, well, you know, he wasn't tested for Broner and he wasn't tested for uh, Keith Thurman. But, but the last time I just showed you a clip of Vada testing of Manny Pacquiao, I showed you a clip of Bud Crawford. But if you go to the Vada website, that clip I showed you a picture of him in the Vada website, it said June 1st, 2019. When did he fight Keith Thurman? July 20th of 2019, making him the oldest way to weight champion of the world. This is not about Manny Pacquiao right now. But I'm just hearing people say, well, you know, he, he don't get drug tested and, and this and that. But if you're saying you're suspicious of, of Manny Pacquiao because he didn't take a Vada test and, and, and you're leaving it up to the sanction body and you, you're telling me you ain't trusting the sanction body? Drug test. The post drug test. Is that what you're telling me? You motherfucking twat. Because all you got coming out your mouth is what you saying. You ain't got facts. All you got is twat breath and motherfucking spin on me, nigga. I had to pause again because I was about to have a Charlo moment and shit. Who the fuck is this calling me? Get the fuck off my phone. All right, I'm, I'm civilized. All right, I'm civilized. But this is, this is the shit I'm trying to say. If they saying that Marie Solomon is saying, damn, you know, the Vada test is very expensive. I don't know about the other sanctioned bodies, but if they're all saying it's, it's very expensive, well, what's the quality of the test? Can you tell me the quality of the test? Well, it's not as good as expensive tests. So they say VAD is expensive, right? Yeah, they're expensive. Um, so if they say they're expensive, that means they don't have um, an isotel test. I can't remember the name of that shit where they test your testosterone levels. Yeah, they test they test your testosterone levels, um, a HGH tests, all these other things. New, uh, there's new compounds out there. Yeah, there's new compounds out there that Vada is is up on. But what about the sanction bodies and their little clean protection um, post uh, tests? Uh, if if they're not expensive, right? To the sanction body, to the promoter. So what are they testing? Wait, here's just testing for yo. Let me show you some. Let me show you some compounds, man, so you can see where I'm coming from with this shit. Pounds, Anadrol, Anavol, Clon. Listen, just look, 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 look. And you, and Halo, 
human growth hormone, all these things, right? And this is not A to Z yet. Let me go to A to Z, stereopoint, A to Z, right? So we're going to go to A to Z, and I'm going to show you, look, these are new shits, new shits. Look how new these damn things are, man. Look how new that is. New, 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 new. So much new shit. And you're going to tell me that the WBC only do posts, right? They don't do no eight weeks prior to the fight. And look at all these new shits right here, which Vada does. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, 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 better yet. Let me, let me, let's not even talk about anabolic steroids, right? There's other things here, my dude. Yeah, there's a lot of other things. Let's do fat loss agents. Let's, let's not forget that fat loss agents, yeah, a butyrol, caffeine, cleanse. So let's say you got a fat camp, right? Now, remember, they don't do no testing unless you under Vada, right? So if you're doing testing, right, you don't have to do no testing for eight weeks. You could get on any of these things, cleanse. Citamel, or Cytom, if I said it right, okay? Sometimes I fucked up with the words. But that right there is not just, it's, 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 it's to speed up your, your, your furnace of burning fat. That means not just estrogen, estrogen and testosterone is your hormones. No, your thyroid. Your thyroid releases T3 and T4 hormones, all right? And that speeds up your motherfucking metabolism so you could burn fat, right? Remember when you was in your, in your, in your 16, 20, and you can eat whatever the fuck you want, right? You can eat whatever the fuck you want, and you're still the same weight? Well, that's what happens. That hormone from your thyroid speeds up things where you can eat anything you want and still stay the same weight, okay? So it's not just anabolic steroids, and, then, and, and and let's go to growth. Uh, oh, let's go to peptides. Let's see what peptides is, right? So let's go to a peptide. Um, peptides. Now you got all these peptides right here, right? Look at these peptides, man. All these peptides. And the thing I like about these peptides, right? That I'm going to show you. I'm telling you about. You got um, CJC, GHRP. Now what these do, right? This, you inject it, and it sends a signal to your brain to release natural, your own HGH, your own human growth hormone. It sends a signal to your penile gland to send, to release, right? Because as you get older, you don't release enough HGH, right? You don't release enough HGH. So what it does, <laughs> it, it, it helps you send a signal to your brain. So as you, as you get older, that's how we get old. Okay, to test your own lack of hormones. Okay, lack of hormones. So, you, you, you on a fat loss agent in a fat camp, um, growth hormones, peptides, diuretics, um, anti estrogens, which also helps, um, oral steroids, non steroid anabolic agents. Come on, man. And you're going to tell me a post, a post test is an end all. Be all? That's what you're telling me? Is the end all be all? That's what it is? Go to the site and look at this site. You're going to see all the stuff you need to see. All right? So, <laughs> so you know, you know, okay, let me give you another example, right? Because we were talking about fat camps and shit like that. And what drugs you can use, and even anabolics, because you know what anabolics do, it helps you lose weight, but maintain muscle mass, okay? Um, we all know that water weight in the muscle, the muscle holds about 70% of water. You got the kidneys, your liver, you got all this, all these areas in your body that holds water. So fat cap means you got to get, in order for you to get, get down of a percentage of fat in order to make weight, right? That's why when you look at Errol Spence, I'm giving you some example, he has a nutritionist. The nutritionist is telling him, listen, this is what I want you to eat. This is my take on a Panda Express dish. It's healthy. It's like the pepper chicken, but we're going to use ground turkey. It'll make him feel satiated throughout the day because we're at a calorie deficit. We don't want him feeling hungry, hungry all day. There's just little tricks, you know. As Spence takes aim at pound for pound supremacy, a nutritionist fuels even loftier ambitions. 
Every bite matters because every pound counts. Weight always been an issue for me, you know. But as I got older, you know, it gets a lot harder. So it's, it's been a, a real serious issue for me. In between each meal, he's got to drink 32 ounces of fluid. He's like, so I got to do this every time? I'm like, yeah. And the old school is the whole not drinking water, you know, eating less. You know, you're always hungry, you're always thirsty. And then that, you know, affects your mood. So a nutritionist is doing his job. It's helping you with the ratio of your water intake and you losing fat, right? A fat, a fat percentage, all right? Because remember, the muscles, the organs in your body, everything holds water, especially muscles. That holds about 70% of water, right? So um, you have to drink water, but at the same time, you're trying to get your micronutrients in, your, your carbs, your proteins, your vitamins, your minerals. You know, you lose all that when you're on the water and shit like that. So you have to get it right, right? But see, my problem is, 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 is dudes when they're in their 30s, yeah, in their 30s trying to do this. It's, it's hard and, and, and it fluctuates because every time you have a camp, because I think a camp, uh, a camp is 12, 12 to 6 weeks, right? A camp is like 12 to 6 weeks. So every time you have a fight and you're in your 30s and you got to go back down and you got to lose weight and this is not the first time Errol Spence or any other boxer does this, right? And remember, you got fluid on the brain. So I'm just saying, you have um, compounds out there that can help you on top of your nutritionist, which it's not expensive um, to get. I don't care if he's high end nutritionist or a, a, a good with boxing and wrestling and MMA, and he got the top to get to, to, to make weight. I don't care about all that. I'm talking about 20s, 30s, 40s, all right? Where in boxing, the limit is 35, right? Once you hit 30, 35, father time is on your ass. Father time is on your ass by 35 as a boxer, okay? Unless you keep your seats. That's why I say Crawford. He don't got to get ready. He stay ready in the gym because he know father time is on his ass, yo. And the time you slack up, that man's ready to grip you, man. Father time ready to grip you. It can happen any moment. So you stay in that gym and you stay ready for this fight. But what I'm trying to say is your hormones orchestrate everything. Puberty. Menopause for women. Menopause for men. Okay? I can get all in this shit. But what I'm saying is no matter if you have a nutritionist, when you're in your 30s. Okay, let me give you one example. Right? This is an example. Fondora, 6'6", 154 pounds. Um... Besides that, Boost Innis, he makes 154 pounds, 140, I'm sorry, 147 pounds, he's 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 right? Good muscle mass and all that. But what do they have in common? Well, they're in their 20s. This shit is easy work. They could do this. But when you get up in your 30s, well, it's a different story. Remember when you was in your 20s, 16s, 18, you can hear whoever you want, get on the scale like, damn, I'm still this age. When I'm going to put on weight, right? And then one minute you up to 27, 28 years old, depending on whoever it is, uh, everybody's different with their hormones and their genetics and their body type, ectomorph, endomorph, you know, mesomorph, all these things come, come into play. So what I'm saying is this, when you up there in age, no matter how much nutritionist you have, Right? You're fighting yourself because your hormones are telling you, listen, man, you don't, you don't belong at this age, this weight no more. Long time you should have been at this weight because when your hormones go down, that's when the weight start going up. Yeah. And that's when it's getting harder to get rid of. All right? And, and another thing, starvation mode, all that shit like Errol Smith said, he feels hungry, thirsty. I, I'm glad I got a nutritionist. I, feel, I look more fuller. Right? Because remember when he was about to fight Manny Pacquiao? Yeah? How'd he look? And there was Vada testing in that. There was Vada testing in that, bro. There was Vada testing because the first thing when he touched the... When Manny Pacquiao touched the ground, what did he say? Sorry, Roach. Um, Freddie Roach. I got to go do this Vada test. Right? And, and I remember how Errol Spence was looking. Lollipop head, skinny. He didn't look like this. So yeah, everybody has suspicions of everything. Right? But I'm getting back to the main thing. I ain't getting about Errol Spence. I'm talking about the WBC and when 
Vada is in play and when it's not. And the slight of tongue that this dude has. Because if you listen to Maurice Silliman in that thing, he has a slight of tongue. And I'm going to show it. And I'm going to end this right here with this, man. I'm going to show what he's trying to say. First, I'm going to show you what the depth, the, the, the clean boxing organizations that he's claiming. Okay? And then I'm going to let you listen just a little bit more. And they're going to see how you could get a complex problem with what he's saying and how you can get um misscrewed about what he's trying to say. So let's 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 just loop this real quick and then that's the end of that. Alright, here we go. Alright, so the WBC Clean Boxing Program. Listen to the words that's coming out my mouth now. The more about WBC cleaning clean boxing program. The WBC clean boxing program was put in place to ensure healthy athletes and fair fights. We are the first and only combat organization to use what? Fire testing on all top 15 rated boxes in all weight categories. The selection and test is done independently by FADA. Well, okay, so you say. At our expense, is if an athlete doesn't enroll, right, he is dropped from the ratings. If he tests dirty, he cannot fight for us. We are de dedicated to health, safety, and transparency in sports. So we the first and only combat organization to use of how they're testing it all the top fight. Right, right. The selection and test is done by independently by. So the selection and test is done independently by FADA. Oh, okay. All right. Let's work with this right here. My dear friend, there's a misunderstanding in public and some media. There is always anti-doping test after the fight. Every single WBC championship fight has mandatorily to have an anti-doping test. The clean boxing program, which the WBC pays for and has been working for the last six years, is a random testing, which is expensive and which cannot cover the whole world. Some fights are contracted also by the promoters to have out of competition testing but also it is very expensive so not every title fight has uh the two three months prior to the fights uh, testing and that is nothing wrong the rule says anti-doping test after the fight everything else is uh efforts from the wbc from boxing commissions from promoters to keep boxing clean and to have that uh, system of uh, doing random testing so I hope uh, one day people can understand there is nothing wrong Fundora or PVC or no one did nothing wrong because uh, the extra testing is just additional to the rules alright so it says the top 15 or 14 rated boxes right that's what it says then they say they use see maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong okay maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong I don't know but when I read this it sounds different from what he's saying oh okay what you say oh you're saying that what he did was this they use Vada to get results after a post fight right maybe this is what they're saying right you have a fight you piss in the cup. They take it to Vada. They do their tests with urine. Urine alone. Because that's what they could afford. That's what the WBC could afford. Only the urine. They can't afford a, a, a eight weeks. Right? They can't afford that because it's too expensive. We can't do it to all the boxes. But we could do Vada on the top 15 rated boxes. Right? But we're going to slice this in half. Yeah, we're going to we affiliate. See, just because you're affiliated with Vada doesn't mean that you're using Vada all the time. You could take your piss to somewhere else and say that and, and, and get a result. You can get results anywhere, right? And say, yeah, we affiliate with Vada, but we're not going to use them because they're expensive. But we might, it's like saying like, okay, you have a membership. You got a standard, you got a gold, and you got a platinum. That's, that's basically it. So what you're telling me is that you got you you only doing the WBC is only doing post checkups, right? They're only doing a checking up after the fight. 
And maybe you could tell me that they're going to take that sample, that piss sample, and send it to VADA. Okay, you could tell me that too. Or you could tell me that the WBC, they got their own, right? But you could also tell me that if it's suggested by the promoter, if the promoter want to pay, then it could do an eight-week, the eight-week um, testing prior to the fight, before the fight, and do it after the fight. But it depends on who wants to pay for it. And that's why. And that's why I say, just like Wada, leave it up to the boxer. He's the one in that motherfucking ring getting hit in the head. In the gut. All right? Leave it up to leave it up to the boxer. If the promoter and the and the, and, and the sanctioned body ain't with it or whatever and they don't want to pay for it, you're you you touching M's, nigga. And that's why when it comes to Crawford and Errol Spence, I, I'm not I'm not trying to say Errol Spence is on anything and he's taking fat agent um diuretics and all this stuff and he got a nutritionist and 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 he's on I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying I want what I want is Errol Spence and Bud Crawford to take the Vada test. Just like Castano and Charlo is. Um, uh, anybody that's unified and un undisputed. And I give you my reasons. Not my suspicions. Yeah, I can have suspicions, but I'm going to tell you something about suspicions. They're not my facts. I could just blatantly say it, just like how y'all do, to, to win an argument. But that's that's not a fact. So instead of me going to all these things about, I think that, you know, he's on this. Look how he looked when he was about to fight Manny Pacquiao. He was skinny, had a lollipop head, and blah, blah, blah. But look how he looked now. He's fuller and he's bigger. Uh, I'm kind of suspicious. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a human. I'm going to get suspicious, but it ain't a fact. And that's what happens with y'all niggas. Y'all confuse the fact with friction and shit, with, 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 with what people want to believe. So all I'm saying in this fight, I want to see, I want to see. Vada testing. Pay for it. And if I was Crawford, I would pay for it. Not out of suspicion, but my health is my wealth. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm here for you to read between the lines. Fuck on that, nigga.